Hey you guys, all right, today I have a new jump board workout for you. This workout should be about 30 minutes. Uh, the only props you need are your jump board, we're gonna use that the entire time, and a pair of weights, okay? Now, I've got five pounders today, so I'm gonna kick up the resistance. This is probably the pretty much the heaviest weight you'll probably see me use on the reformer. Um, and in other videos, I have not used five pounds, but today we're gonna use five pounders. If you have three pound weights, that's perfect. Um, normally I would probably go for three pounders, but today we're just kicking up the intensity a little bit since it's a shorter workout. Two pounds, three pounds, any of those are just fine. Again, these are gonna add resistance today and increase the intensity of the workout. So you can do the whole thing without the weights. They are not necessary and just use arm movement in, the, in place of the weights, okay? so. That's your only prop, jump board and weight. I have my reformer set on a blue and a yellow spring. So I'm on a balanced body reformer. For me, that would be an extra light and a light spring on, so two springs. Um, my reformer did not come with that yellow spring. I purchased that in addition and replaced one of my heavy springs. So if you don't have a yellow spring or an extra light spring on your reformer, have that blue on or have that one light spring and then if you'd like to add a red spring, you can, or you can just use a red and no blue at all. Okay, so those are kind of your options. Um, if it was up to me and I didn't have that extra light spring, I'd put one heavy spring on and just use that heavy spring, okay? To start the workout, we're gonna switch them in and out. All right, so right now, yellow and blue. If not, one red, um, and that's it. Okay, I've got my headrest up because I have quite an arch to the back of my neck. So I've got my headrest up for me. If you'd like your headrest up, you can have it up. And let's get started. All right, you're gonna lie down on your back with those weights in hand if you have them. Okay, completely optional again. We're gonna start with those weights. They're gonna be up over the chest. Okay, and I have them separated so that my arms are coming straight off the shoulder so they're about four inches apart parallel. My feet are gonna mimic my legs. Okay, so four inches apart parallel toes shining up. Now, before we jump, I want you to find that neutral spine. You've got a heavy tailbone, little lift in the low back that I am not creating, that's natural. Okay, pull the belly button up and in, ribs are closed like a book. We're gonna keep those ribs closed as we jump. We're gonna exhale, bend both knees, inhale, take it out for a little hop. Okay, now, one really big important thing about jumping, it's not a shove through the foot. Okay, or the leg. It's not that power through the leg. I want you to think about internal length when you jump. That's the first thing that should be in your head. So that's the reason for the inhale when we leave the jump board. That's creating that internal length when the diaphragm drops inside the body. So we wanna think about that long length. Okay, inhaling as we leave the jump board, exhaling as we land. One big thing that I'm a stickler about when we jump is those heels. They need to make full contact with the jump board when we land. We're not jumping on the balls of our feet. Okay, we're jumping full foot connection. So I land, ball of my foot, roll to my heel, and then I leave, heel, ball, toe. Okay, land, toe, ball, heel, leave, heel, ball, toe. toe. Okay, so you wanna find that full foot connection every time. I always tell people, think about gymnastics, right? You gotta stick that landing for that full 10 points. This is the same thing here. I want you to stick that full foot connection every time. That means we're gonna manage the bend to the knees because the deeper we bend the knees, the more we challenge the flexibility through the back line of the leg. All right, through all this talking, you probably feel your arms already, right? Those are heating up. Okay, we're gonna keep jumping just like this, but we're gonna swivel those palms so they face the jump board now, and we're gonna go into a chest press. So the next time you land, I want you to bend those elbows, and as you leave, you're gonna press up and down. So little chest press right here, bending at the elbows. Elbows come off the reformer. Good, my tricep touches the carriage, and then I leave. Still working with that inhale as we leave, exhale as we land. Good, bringing the bell of the weights pretty close to each other as they press up. We've got six. We're gonna change it up in five, four, last three. We've got two, last one. Okay, pause for just a moment. Now, 
We're gonna take those heels together, toes turned out for first position. Arms are gonna come up over the chest again, okay? And this time we're gonna work with a bend at the elbow, all right? So we're gonna lengthen those legs all the way out to start, zip up the inner thighs. We're gonna bend those knees, and as we take that jump out, we're gonna bend at the elbows. So the bell of the weight is coming towards the head. Always landing in that first position. My heels are glued together. Zipping up those inner thighs as I leave. Lots to think about, right? Lots to think about. And if you've got five pound weights like me, you're feeling that resistance and you should be feeling the right and left waistline. Light up as you leave. There's a lot more for the core to handle. Okay, so it needs to work hard to stabilize the body. Hold that good form. Keep that neutral spine. Keep those ribs closed. Good, you guys, we got six. We're gonna change it up again in five, four, last three. You've got two, last one, and bring it in for just a moment. Now, right here, we're gonna keep that first position, but we're gonna add an ab curl. So on your exhale right here, you're gonna lift those shoulder blades off the carriage, reach, reaching the weights for the jump board. Keep that first position, bend those knees, inhale, jump. Good, so now we're just gonna hold that ab curl as we jump. Good, you guys. Inhale as you leave, exhale as you land. Still getting those heels to touch down every time. Zipping up those inner thighs. I'm narrowing my ribs into my pelvis. Good, you guys. Here we go. We're gonna add a little air jumping jack. My legs and arms are gonna do the same thing. So on the next one, we're gonna open the legs and the arms and close to land. Arms don't have to open that far. The legs are opening a lot further than the legs. I mean, sorry, than the arms. Always bringing those heels back together. I'm still holding that ab curl. Don't let it go. Getting that whole body warm with this first jump sequence. Whoo! Good, you guys, you got it. We're here for eight, seven, six, good, five, four, Three, last two. All right, we're gonna pause for just a moment once again. Now, my left arm is gonna rest with the weight on the carriage, okay? My right arm is gonna come up towards the ceiling. I'm gonna stay in first position and lengthen my legs all the way out. My right leg is gonna stay on the, ju on the jump board. My left leg is gonna hover. Okay, so we went from first position. I'm holding first position. I just lift that left leg right above the jump board. So I've got the inner thigh shining a little more towards the ceiling. We're gonna bend that right knee and jump with that single side. Okay, now the right arm's got that weight up over the chest. We're gonna add a little twist and reach. So right here, I want you to take an ab curl, straight forward, hold the ab curl now. We're not gonna let that go. And now we're gonna twist for the left ankle as we leave the jump board. I'm never fully coming out of my ab curl. Okay, I'm holding it the whole time. I'm just twisting, I'm adding the twist as I leave the jump board. Reaching the weight towards the ankle. You're not gonna reach the ankle. I want you to think about those right ribs reaching for that left inner thigh. That's where your mind should be, right there. Still holding that turned out position through both legs. Good, the right shoulder blade leaves the carriage for six. Whoo, five, four, last three, two, and last one. And bring it in just for a moment. Now we're gonna switch. Right arm comes down to the carriage with that weight. Left arm comes up and over the chest. Zip up those inner thighs. We're still in first position. Right leg's gonna hover over that jump board. We're gonna bend and extend for that hop right off the jump board. Now jumping with that left leg. All right, now right here, we're gonna take that ab curl. So as we're jumping, I just want you to peel the shoulder blades off the carriage. Good, now from here, we're gonna add that little twist, twisting towards 
the right inner thigh with those left ribs. Left shoulder blade peels off the carriage. Good, you guys, holding it right here. Nice, strong jump sequence. Still pulling that belly button up and in. It's a little bit easier when you have that ab curl to watch the opening of the rib cage. Good, holding it here. You got it, thinking about that twist from the ribs. Inner thigh still shining towards the ceiling on that right leg. Whoo, we got six, five, last four. Good, you got three, last two. Now we're gonna end this jump sequence the same way we started on the next one. We're gonna pause for just a moment, bring both feet to the jump board, parallel position, arms up over the chest, lengthen out the legs. Here we go, just like we started. Parallel legs, parallel arms. Holding it there. Arms and legs are separated about four inches apart. Good, hold and breathe. This is it, we're gonna move on to some upper body jumps. A longer sequence there. We're here for six, five, four, three, last two, and last one, and bring it all the way in, guys. So good, all right, with those weights. It adds quite a bit, right? All right, I want you to set one weight on the floor. Okay, we're gonna come up onto our knees. Okay, and I'm gonna be facing you, so that's the right side of my reformer. I'm gonna take off my blue spring, which is my light spring. I'm gonna keep my yellow, my extra light. If you do not have an extra light, keep that one light spring on. Okay, you just might not be able to do as many reps. Okay, now, we're gonna kneel kneecaps towards the front edge of the carriage. Okay, and I'm about three to four inches away from the edge of the carriage. We're gonna have the left hand jumping on the jump board. Right hand has the weight. Now, before we do that, I want you to be in a high kneeling position, sternum over pubic bone. We're gonna take those sits bones, center of the glute, and we're gonna hinge at the hips and reach them back for a little hover. Hold that position there. Core is engaged and active. My right hand is gonna come to the, the shoulder with that weight, palm facing my midline. Left hand to the jump board, okay? You wanna try to get a full palm connection right there. From here, we're gonna extend through that left arm and give it a little hop. Okay, that right arm is gonna come into play just a moment, but I want you to start with that solid jump on the left arm. Now, right here, you notice my torso is not shifting, my pelvis, nothing. It's nice and stable. Okay, we're working through a bend in the elbow and an articulation through that left palm, just like we would with our feet. That articulation where we leave heel, ball, toe, land, toe, ball, heel, same thing, heel of the hand, palm, fingertips, and then landing the same way, fingertips, palm, heel of the hand. Good, now let's add that weight on the right side. So the next time you take that jump out, we're gonna go for an overhead press, and then we're gonna land. This time we're gonna take it out to a T and then bring it back to land, overhead press, and then half T. Good, overhead press. We're gonna start to feel those quads, those front of the thighs, right? They're gonna start to turn on, so I want you to think about really pulling that belly button up and in. Thinking about those inner thighs gathering up through the pelvic floor. Good. Again, you can do this whole sequence without the weight. Make sure that bicep is coming straight in front of that ear for that overhead press. Good, let's go for two more like this. Last set right here, overhead press. And then out to that T. Now the next one, we're gonna take it out to that T and we're gonna hold it there now. That left hand is gonna jump all by itself. Isometric hold on that right arm. Woo, I can feel my whole left arm and my right shoulder now. Good, core, engage that core. Good, notice I'm not shoving off that jump board. I'm articulating through that arm. Last four. Woo, we got three. Last two. And last one. And bring it all the way in. Woo. Come up into that high kneel. That feels good, right? We're going to turn and face the jump boards. Leave your springs alone. 
We're going to kneel with those kneecaps off the edge of the carriage. I know that feels a little scary at first, but we're going to do that to protect the kneecap. Okay, so bring it off the front edge of the carriage. Your shins are going to remain heavy. My knees are four inches apart and parallel. Okay, now we're going to find that hover again. So from that high kneeling position, we're going to hinge where the leg meets the hip, that little seat crease. We're going to reach those sits bones back and find that hover, that tilt in the torso. My core is engaged still, okay? Left hand to the jump board, right hand with the weight at the shoulder, palm facing in, same as before. From here, we're gonna reach that left arm and right arm for a jump. The left hand is jumping all by itself. The right arm is reaching out with that weight. Good, we're holding a nice control through the shoulder girdle so that we're not twisting. Okay, those shoulders don't twist, they stay square to the jump board. That right arm reaches out with the bell of the weight. The bell of the weight still faces up and down. Okay, I'm not twisting the arm at all. I'm landing through full palm connection on that left side. Whew, now we're gonna add a little twist. So on the next one, we're gonna reach across the body and come back to land. That right arm reaches across the midline, taking the left elbow back for that little torso twist. Notice I'm not twisting my pelvis. It's waistline up. I want you to think about those ribs again. Right ribs twisting towards the left corner of that jump board. Good, hold it here. Make sure those, bat, those toes, okay, make sure your toes are relaxed, that they're not turned under. Okay, it's gonna put more pressure through the front of the leg and that knee, and we don't wanna do that. Good, focusing on that upper body. Lower body gets to play too, right? I know you feel it. We're here for four. Whew. Last three. We got two. And last one. And bring it all the way in. Whew, my goodness. Bring those kneecaps back onto the carriage. All right, we're gonna take a seat, okay? Leave your springs how they are. Now, both weights, I want you to keep them nearby, but let's start with them on the floor, okay? Now, we're gonna come into tailbone teaser jumps. These are quite a core and balance challenge, so I want you to move slow with me, okay, so that we don't fall off the machine together. All right, so my hands are gonna prop up behind me. I've got my sits bones about midway on the carriage, and my feet are gonna come onto the jump board, knees bent, heels together. So I'm in first position with my feet, that little V. All right, now right from here, hands are light. We're gonna press the legs out to two straight legs. Now you are on an extra light spring. You're gonna feel like you're floating. Just take it slow with me, okay? Now from here, we're gonna zip up the belly button, roll those shoulders down and back. My hands are light, but my fingertips are spread out for a nice space of support. I'm gonna bend both knees, super light, super soft, okay? And from here, I'm gonna press out and give a little hop. Okay, and it doesn't need to be big. And you're gonna notice shaking right off the bat. All that connective tissue is firing because you don't have much support here. Okay, I'm sure you can feel that. It feels like you're floating in midair on that extra light spring. That's the way I want you to feel right now. Okay, so that core needs to fire. Those inner thighs, everything is working to keep you upright, okay? and to keep those legs up. Good, now, those hands should be really light, right? We wanna make sure that we're not leaning back on our arms. My left arm, I'm gonna to continue to jump. My left arm is gonna reach forward for the jump board. Continue to jump. That's only if you feel comfortable. Your hands are not gonna leave the carriage if you don't feel comfortable. Okay, again, taking it nice and slow. Tight core, tight inner thighs as we leave zipping up through the middle of the body. We got four. Good, last three. My right arm is gonna leave as well, only if you feel comfortable. So on your next one, we're gonna reach that right arm out there. Both arms are up and out, okay? Strong core connection here. You're basically jumping in teaser, okay? Now those weights, they're next. They're gonna add quite a bit of challenge. All right, so right here, I just want you to jump for four more. Full foot connection every time. 
Notice my heels always make a solid connection. Three. Last two. Woo. All right, guys, on this one, just take a pause for a moment. Bring those feet down, grab your weights. Again, this is only if you felt comfortable with the last three layers. If you didn't, I want you to stay where we just were at and practice there, even if your hands are still down. All right, we're going to bring those weights alongside the body. We're going to bring those feet back up to the jump board in first position. We're going to lengthen out both legs, heels together, toes turned out. My weights, they're going to come right to my chest. Okay, now from here, I'm going to reach those arms forward, but I'm going to keep the weights together. Okay, that's going to help remind me of my midline connection. Okay, we're going to bend both knees. Can you tell I'm out of breath already just from the, from the tailbone jumps? Okay, I'm going to bend both knees. The weights don't want to let me go. And then we're going to hop. Woo! Little hop. Now, you might notice on that first one, my toes didn't want to leave. They didn't want to leave the jump board. Okay, my body wasn't ready. I didn't feel stable. So it may take one or two before your body's like, okay. I got it. I'm going to stabilize now. I know what to do. I've got those weights. Your body will equalize. Well, figure out where that weight distribution needs to be. Pulling that core nice and tight. All right, you already know how to find that core connection. Whew. Notice my elbows are soft, but I'm holding those weights out in midair. I know you feel your hip flexors, okay, because we got a lot of time holding up those legs. It's not bad to feel the hip flexors, okay, because they need to be strengthened as well. We're here for six. Whoo! Last five. You've got four. You got this. Keep getting those heels get down every time. Last three. Last two. And one last one. And bring it all the way in, guys. So strong. Set one weight down. We're going on to the other side of those upper body jumps. So again, on that one yellow spring. Knees, kneecaps hanging off the front edge of the carriage. This time my left hand gets the weight, right hand on the jump board. Staying nice and tall, sternum over pubic bone to start. Core belly button pulls up and in as we hinge at the hips, reaching the sits bones back. Fingertips all the way down onto that jump board. My left hand is at the shoulder with the weight palm facing in. We're going to inhale as we leave the jump board for that little hop and bring it back in. Whew. So those weights, they add quite a bit of cardiovascular endurance here. Okay, so you're going to feel that heart rate's going to be a little bit higher than it might be on some of these other uh, Pilates reformer workouts. It's good to get that heart rate up. Guys, we need that cardio piece too. It's all important, right? And I try to give you everything in these workouts so that you get a little bit of everything. Good, not all in one day. <laughs> but if you've done a, quite a bit of my routines already, you kind of have an idea of how I flow. Good, that core is tight. Reaching those arms, my shoulders are square. Notice I'm not twisting, not yet. Let's jump for four more and then we'll add that twist. Last three. You've got two. All right, now right here on this next one, we're going to add that reach across the body. So my left arm comes across, right elbow pre, uh, pulls back, and then I come back to center to land. Good. Now, on that last one, you, heard, you probably heard me hit the bumper. You want to try to catch yourself before you hit the bumper. So you're, that, you're slowing that carriage down. I did it again. <laughs> Good, you guys. Adding that twist. My pelvis is quiet, okay? My left ribs twist towards the right corner of the jump board. Good, you guys. You got it. Whew. I am sweaty already. Last four. Last three. We're going to go side facing in two. And last one, and bring it all the way in. Whoo, gosh, all right, feels good to kneel up, right? <laughs> all right, turning towards the left side of the machine. Knees are gonna be on the reformer this time, not hanging off, okay? We're gonna again find that hinge. I'm about three inches away from the edge of the carriage. Knees are four inches apart parallel, core is tight. Left hand has the weight. I'm gonna find that hinge first. 
So reaching the sits bones back for the heels. I'm not sitting down, I'm hovering. Core needs to remain engaged that way. Right hand comes to the jump board, left hand at the shoulder with the weight. Let's just start with that jump. Right arm jumping. Finding that articulation through the elbow all the way down through the forearm and into the palm of the hand. Okay, I'm not shoving through my upper body. Otherwise, my whole torso would be shifting and moving. We want to keep that stable like a statue. Now I'm going to bring that left arm into play. Okay, on the next one, oops, overhead reach. <laughs> oh, give me go. Overhead reach. Good. And then out to that T. Okay, we're going for the overhead reach first. Bicep in front of the ear. Woo, and out to that T. I can feel the five pounds in my left arm for sure. Good, you guys. Managing that jump more than anything else. If you feel like that weight is too aggressive, you get rid of it. Yes. Good, you guys. Overhead press. The bicep stays in front of the ear. Good. And then out to the T. Uh, weight stays below shoulder height. Good, you guys. Almost there. Okay, we're going to go for three more. Inhale out. Exhale to land. Last two. Whew. Feel that left arm. Last one here. All right, on your next one, you're taking it out to that half T, and we're jumping right here. Isometric hold on that left arm. Ooh, I feel it. I feel it. Core is tight. Pull that belly button a little tighter than it was just a second ago. You've got six. Last five. Ooh, we got four. Last three. Don't let that left arm drop. Last two. And last one, and bring it all the way in nice and slow. Ooh, all right, you guys, ending this routine, we're gonna end it with one final jump sequence on our back, grab both of those weights. Let's add that blue spring back on. So you've got a blue and a yellow or one red, okay? That would be my suggestion if you don't have an extra light spring. Okay, all the way down on your back, shoulders up against those shoulder blocks, all right? We're gonna lengthen both legs, all the way out, but we're gonna take them the width of the jump board right now. Stay in parallel to start, okay? So toes shining up, feet nice and wide, all right? From here, we're gonna bring those weights up over the chest one more time. Exhale, bend both knees. Inhale, send it out. Okay, so articulating through the foot now. We've had lots of practice articulating through the palm of the hand, okay? Now we just bring that back down to the foot. Neutral spine, belly button pulled up and in. Whew. Good, you guys. All right, now we're going to add a little ab curl. So as we leave, we're going to reach those weights a little bit lower, okay? And as we leave the jump board, we're going to add that lift. So right here, lift, lower to land, lift. Point those toes as you leave. The ab curl is small, but we're releasing it every time we land. Good. Maintaining that neutral spine, maintaining the closure of the ribs. Good. Excellent, you guys. On your next one, you're going to hold your ab curl. Continue to jump. Whoo, still have those weights there, right? You can feel that. Good, you guys. Now, we're going to take those legs, keep jumping, but we're going to turn them out into external rotation. So toes shining out, inner thighs facing a little bit more towards the ceiling. Right, you know, you can feel that upper body with those weights. Now, we're going to take those legs, and we're going to land in first, and then we're going to land in second. Land in first, land in second. Good. Now, my arms, they're going to mimic my legs. All right, so the next time... We open and land wide, so do the arms. Then they come close. Then they land wide. Then they come close. Woo! Ending with a little extra cardio push right here. This is it. 
You got it, guys. Keep holding that ab curl. Keep pulling that belly button up and in. My chin is away from my chest. You've got eight. Good. Right here, seven. Last six. You've got five. Stay with me, you guys. Almost there. Don't quit on me. Four. Last three. You feel those arms, right? My biceps. <laughs> Last two. Heels down every time. Last one. Land wide. And bring it all the way in. Oh, boy. Set those weights down. I hope you got sweaty in a half an hour. I sure did. Set those weights on the floor. Okay, right from here. We're just going to take those knees into the chest. Give them a nice little hug. Whew. Ah, that upper body got just as much work as that lower body did. Good. Now right from here, we can just rock side to side. Or if you want to do little knee circles and give that low back a little massage. Either way, whatever feels good. Take those circles the other way if you're doing little knee circles. Whew. All right, you guys. Right from here, we're going to take those feet back onto the jump board one more time. Press those legs out nice and long. I've got them in a closed parallel position. Before we go into a spinal twist, I want to start with those arms. So both arms are going to come up over the chest, and my left arm is going to grab my right forearm, and I'm just going to draw it across the chest. Nice little pull. Whew. Feeling that stretch through the shoulder, the bicep. Hold it there for four. Last three, last two. Good, bring both arms back up over the chest. Same thing, right arm is gonna take the left forearm, draw it across the chest, give it a nice little pull, nice little release. Hold it for four, breathe through this for three. Last two, good. Now right from here, we're gonna take that right knee and we're gonna bend it in. Okay, left foot stays on the jump board. And now we're gonna take that right knee across to the left side of the body. I'm letting my right hip come off the reformer. All right, so a spinal twist is what we're going for. Right arm is gonna to reach towards the right side of the reformer. I'm gonna look at my right hand as I twist my right knee towards the left, holding that little spinal twist. Whew, breathing right here for four. Last three. Enjoy this release. It should feel good. Last two. Bring it all the way back through center. Same thing, other side. Right foot stays on the jump board. Left knee bends in. I take that left knee across to the right side of the body, letting my left hip peel off of the reformer, and my left hand goes out to the left. I look at the left hand, hold that spinal twist, and breathe, opening up the chest at the same time for four. Last three, last two, coming all the way back to center, bending those knees nice and soft. One last little knee hug into the chest, two big breaths, inhale, fill those ribs towards the sides of the room, exhale all that air out, one more big breath in, exhale all that air out, guys, you did it, bravo. 30 minute jump board routine. Very different from my other jump board sequences. Lots of upper body today, but awesome job. You feel a nice little arm pump after this one. Hopefully your heart rate picked up a little bit. You got a little sweaty, so some good cardiovascular endurance there. Awesome job. As always, if you have questions for me, please leave them below the video. I am happy to answer them, and I always do. It just takes me a couple days sometimes. Uh, you can find me on social media and ask me those questions as well. I am Jess P. Fit on both Instagram and Facebook. Um, what else? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It helps me give you more videos, which I love doing. This is a favorite, my favorite part of the day. So. I'm here for you if you have things you want to see or things you want to know about modifications that you need, injuries you need help with. Please let me know. I'm happy to assist in any way I can. And I will see you guys soon. Um, have an awesome day.